professional wrestling, a sport driven. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, like I was saying, it's gonna be live. So I was figuring without Charlene being here, I'll take two matches. Yeah, you take. Hey Dustin, look what the cat drug in. Hey Tony, we want some answers, buddy. What happened last week? What is up with you? What is going on inside your head? Yeah, where the hell have you been? We want answers. You hit us with a bat two weeks in a row, and then last week you pulled that crap. What is going on? I demand answers right here I can't and right you. now. I can't hear you, Tony. Speak up. Speak up a little bit louder. Hmm? Speak up. Can't hear you, Tony. This is a deal. Pathetic. Give some answers. How does this guy think he is? You gotta be kidding me. Bats weeks in a row, and now this. No, What's he even doing in here? This is his own test, right? This is Serena, we are live, and OVW TV is on the air. One week removed from Fight for Freedom. Gilbert Corsi alongside Dr. Van B, Ted McNaylor, and Doc, as you saw earlier tonight, no one trusts Tony Gunn. Well, how could you trust Tony Gunn? I mean, he turned his back on OVW, joining OVE, and then last week, he turned his back on OVE, hitting Sammy Callahan with a bat. Who can trust them? You bottom line, you don't know what Gunn's going to do, and we certainly don't know why. And if you missed what we're talking about, then take a look back now. Oh, Big fight for freedom. fight night. This is Chavo Guerrero Jr. Trey. Oh, Trace. He's going to fly. Oh. Splash. He's been all over the place. Look at this. Oh, oh wait, wait a wait second. Wait a minute. What happened? The referee did not see it. But from one wrestling legend to another, here comes the man beast. Oh, no. Gore! Gore! Just Gore! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Rhino's the television champion! Josh Ashcraft and his mercenary. And they're all one cohesive unit, making them that much more dangerous. And there you see them. Ricky and Robert. Alongside King Ransom. Maximus connects on this. And it could be over. My oh my! He cut him in half. Hooks the leg. One, One two, two, yes! And we have wrestling royalty making her way out here. The Queen, Madison Rain. Megan Bain won the OBW Women's title on her 21st birthday. She is a powerhouse. Oh no! Oh! oh. This is what Madison has. She's got Madison right where she wants her. Oh, and got it. she connect. Biggest win of her career. Leg is hooked. And what? Satan's made has done it. Here that. Satan's favorite sinner is on his way to the ring. Well, oh, oh, my. I say that this is the thing that nightmares are made of. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you're not kidding about that. You guys who kind of like pain, but you got to beat one of them so bad that you need to do a stretcher. And not just get him to a stretcher, shackle him to the stretcher. Yeah. Hey, God is out. He got, got him. It. That is Don't it. Ohio Valley Wrestling presents the Matt Capitelli Courage Award to John and Harper Johnson. Look at that. He's got a tricycle. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is great. Hold on, hold on. My. Talk about marvelous. Look at that. Mr. Marvelous is showing up in style here. Ms. Marvelous. Wow. 
brought some of, brought some of her bodybuilding friends to escort her to the ring. Drop the GL3. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. She I'm comes. I've been waiting to see this. Yes. What? <laughs> Folks, this is the one that we've been waiting for. Tony Gunn stands with Sammy Callahan. About to happen. I think Tony Gunn wants to do it. Tony Gunn was a clean up there in Little League. Oh, what? Whoa! Whoa! What? What is happening? Jackson and Floyd win. I find myself asking the question, why, Tony, why? Here to win! Stop worrying about the referee and start worrying about Justice Smooth. Oh! oh no. Justice oh, number two is it. retaining the title! No! No, he's not! Storm now got that kick! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Official! Oh! Oh! It... All jokes aside, again, the grandest prize in our company is on the line! Oh. And Storm connects with another twister kick! Is it Storm? Category oh. five! It's Storm now! Leaving oh, the no, heavyweight no, champion! No, no. Yeah! No, he did! No, he did! What? Luke's feet are on the rope! The referee he doesn't see it! He got him! He got him! Your winner, and still, OBW heavyweight champion, Justin! So it was a blockbuster night at 4th Street Live for Fight for Freedom. We saw an engagement. We saw Storm retain the title. And we saw Rhino become the new OVW television champion. And Doc, Rhino must defend that title right here tonight in a gauntlet match. Well, Gilbert, that's not the only title on the line tonight. We'll also see the OVW Tag Team Championships on the line as King's Ransom finally get their rematch for the titles against the Legacy of Brutality. You know, King's Ransom got the job done when they had Hall of Fame help and the Rock and Roll Express by their side. Can they do it once again with the titles on the line? Yeah. yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we're live! The champ is live! And I look good! You know, as we just seen on the big screen, last Monday's event, the most important aspect was my presence because I had a successful title defense against Corey Storm. And once again, I said, and once again, I beat Corey cleanly for one, two, three. One, two, Three. That's clearly not what happened in the footage. We all saw it. But I'll give it to Corey. You know, he showed up to fight. He brought it to me. He tried to shine. He tried to make a name for himself. But Corey, that's what separates me and you because you're a good wrestler, but I'm a mega star. This is what I do. This is what I do, Corey. I shine bright in the big lights. I get the job done. I am the titan. I am the champ. 
I am Hollywood Smooth, Corey. Uh-oh. What we saw in the footage was that Corey Storm took Smooth's best. Not one, but two street justices and kept going. The storm kept coming. And it was the Trinidad Titan who only gave the victory after he put his feet on the rope stock. Uh, and yeah, if we saw it plain as day on that recap video, Smooth stole it once again. Unfortunately for Corey Storm, he, he's out of rematch. I don't know what, what happens to Corey Storm or where he goes from here. Perhaps we'll get some answers right now. That is the question. What is next for Corey Storm? This has explosive written all over it. The 18-year-old sensation does not look like he has forgotten fight for freedom. Listen to this ovation from the OVW faithful. They love him, Doc. Justin, you're lying to these people. You are lying to the face of all of these people here and all to the people at home. They know the truth. I was the better man that night, Justin, and you had to resort to cheating and putting your feet on those ropes to defeat me. But Justin, I'll give it to you. Every time we step into this ring, you give me more of a fight than anyone else does. But I'm the better man and you know that. Everyone here and everyone at home knows that, Justin. But tonight, tonight, on social media, everybody was asking, what's next for Corey Storm? Well, I, Category 5 Corey Storm, hereby enter myself in tonight's television title gauntlet match. Whoa, that's a tall order there. Storm wants to be a champion in the worst way. But can he beat Rhino? What's funny, Justin? What's funny? The what? The television gauntlet? The TV title? Corey, the TV title? You're going to go from here, here, all the way to, hold up, to here, the TV title, from main event and big shows with the champ, to the television championship? I would have thought twice before you start disparaging the TV title, considering who holds it, that man, the main beast, the real one, Rhino! ECW champion, former WWE superstar, impact wrestling talent. He's wrestled all over the world, a household name, and yes, he is the OVW television champion. I should say the other man beast, of course. Whoa, 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 Rhino, 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 Rhino. Hey, 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 hey. I'm the champ. This is my house. Uh oh. Uh -oh. When you come here, you're gonna treat me with some respect. And but hey, hey, I think you misunderstood me. You wanna, you wanna be treated with respect. This is your house. Uh uh, not anymore. Cause this is my house. If you wanna be treated with respect, you show me some respect, and you show this TV title some respect. Some Whoa. Respect. Hey. You misunderstood me, Rhino. That belt you have there is prestigious. It's an honor to have you as a television champ. You misunderstood me, my friend. Hey, hey, that, I think, that's not what he I, said a few minutes ago. He didn't say that a few minutes ago. Hey, hey, hey. You done took a lot of hits over the years, but I don't think you're hearing me clearly. Rhino, I'm happy to have you as our television champion. He's feeding you, you crap. credibility to the television champ. And this strap is prestigious. It's smooth backing up. It's a pleasure to have you in OVW. Are you serious? Really? Smooth is backtracking yeah, about as fast as a politician. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, you hear what they think of you. Yeah, that's right.
As for you, Storm, I watched you last week, and I seen that you gave it your all in the ring. But I want to let you know, tonight, when I step foot in the ring, I'm giving it 110%. You know, that's, that's, that's fine, Rhino, because tonight, I'm bringing 120%. Whoa. <laughs> it's going to be the gauntlet of all gauntlets. And it's tonight in our main event. Go nowhere. Tweet your friends. Call your family. OVW Television on the air. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you've loved a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. Following is a tag team contest scheduled for one fall and is for the OVW Southern Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, the challengers, the team of Maximus and Leonis Khan, King's Ransom. You know, it's been a constant story of the numbers game for King's Ransom. But last week at the numbers game with Hall of Fame help, of the Rock and Roll Express by their side, Leonis and Maximus Khan got the job done against the legacy of brutality. Ricky and Robert are gone this week, and the Khans must now do it alone. Can they do it? Can they get those tag team titles back tonight? That's a great question, Gilbert. What we're going to find out in this hour right now, but I tell you, if they are going to win those championships, they're going to have to have an answer for the numbers game that the Legacy Brutality loves to play. These two broke onto the scene in 2018 in Ohio Valley Wrestling as the hottest prospects in tag team wrestling. Right here in OVW. They may make history. I mean, this is the first live television broadcast from the Davis Arena, Gilbert. It'll be a historical win for King Ransom. This, ladies and gentlemen, our first of two championship contests on OVW television this week. Later tonight, we've got the television battle gauntlet for our new champion, Rhino. Yes, that Rhino must defend against five other guys. Six superstars. And their opponents. They are the current OVW Tag Team Champions, the legacy of brutality. Five challengers in the champion, all vying after one prize. That's still the cup tonight in our gauntlet. But here comes a team that likes to maim, that likes to destroy, that likes to inflict permanent harm by any means necessary. You don't have to like them. And many people fear them, the legacy. Of brutality. Well, can you blame him, Gilbert? I mean, these are four of the most vicious, brutal, just mean and nasty men you will find anywhere in the world in the squared circle. I mean, they Led. are brutes to say the least. Led to the ring by Josh Ashcraft, the East End villain. And one of the most dominant factions that OVW has ever seen. You know, they like to use uh, that rule, Freebird rule, where any of them can defend the titles. Tonight it looks like it's going to be Jay Bradley and Cash well, Flow. They've yet to use that Freebird rule, though, Gilbert. It's been Jay and Cash. Jay 
wait a second. Well, it's not going to be Jay and Cash. You were at the future, Gilbert. It's, it's going to be Zoe and Hosea. Uh, no, I didn't read the future. I mean, I've heard him talk about this, this Freebird ruling again. That was the first time we've seen it. They like to believe the legacy of brutality of the entirety of Legacy of Brutality. For the tag team champions. Isaiah and Zoe know each other very well. In fact, Isaiah was an early mentor to Zoe. Yeah, all four of these men follow the lead of their, their look out humble leader, Josh Ashcraft. And I tell and you apparently what, this was one of his plans. King's Ransom would like nothing better than to get these titles back and have Zoe be the person who falls to defeat because Zoe is the manipulator. Zoe is the liar who caused Leonis and Maximus to lose the titles in the first place. Remember That's that? That's true. He was supposed to be a last-minute sub-in, and unfortunately he didn't sub-in. He turned his back on his partner, causing L.O.B. the chance to win the titles. Causing oh. Maximus falling to defeat to Maximus when he was supposed to be Maximus' par partner. This is a group that cannot be trusted. Legacy or brutality. This is a, a group that is known to, to cause the kind of permanent injury that ends careers. And that's what you're talking about the numbers hey. game. Because that distraction. Oh, come on now. Are you kidding me? And look how quickly momentum can shift. Isaiah, they call him the Hood Ninja. North of 15 years inside the squared circle. Oh, making the save. Hey, that's a little Rock and Roll Express trick. Nicely done. See, they did pick up a little one or two things from the Legends last week. I love it. I love it. Clearly they did. <laughs> now they're, and Leonis is cooking at all cylinders. Leonis is rallying here. What is happening right there? Uh oh. Up and down. Oh. Isaiah. Legacy of Brutality in trouble here. Tag team titles on the line. OVW continues. If a client comes to me and they've been a victim of domestic violence, that's not just a single event, that's a state that they are in. So we're going to address their immediate safety, but throughout that process, I'm dealing with a bullied client. We can't make child custody based on fear, especially when there's no longer something to be afraid of. When we've addressed the attacker and removed them from the situation, now we can make reasoned decisions, not fearful ones. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane. Ah. You're back here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road, Louisville, Kentucky. Tag team titles on the line. King's Ransom chasing after LOB, trying to get the championship back. Gilbert Corsi at ringside alongside Dr. Manby's Ted McNaylor. And it has been at first all LOB, but King's Ransom holding on to life, firing back with everything they have, and they are certainly still in this fight, although LOB is certainly keeping the advantage for now, unless Leonis can make this tag. Just inches away, so close from tagging in the fresh partner Maximus as Zoe smartly drags Leonis back to his corner in no man's land. Look at the double teams here. This is what Legacy of Brutality does best. And don't get me wrong, it isn't just the two legal men of Hosea and Zoe, Cashflow and Jay Bradley and that jerk known as Josh Ascraft have certainly played a role on the outside of this contest. Isaiah, that's why they call him the Hood Ninja, that ninja kick to the side of the head of Leonis, and Leonis may be out cold. 
be on his feet. Oh. Big man Zoe back in the ring. The juggernaut. Can you believe that this was one of once one of the most popular superstars here in OVW? But Leonis is out of the way, and that could be a momentum shifting moment here. Leonis, can he get to his brother here and make the tag? So close, inches, inches. Oh! Inziguri from Leonis, and the tag to Maximus! Here comes a fresh Maximus Khan who's been choppy on the bit on the outside of the ring for quite some time now. Maximus, like a one-man wrecking machine, takes out Isaiah, up and down! Joe gets him some too. Again, vengeance has been in Maximus Khan's heart for more than a month, ever since LOB, particularly Zoe, betrayed him and took that tag team title away. Maximus is just cooking on Hosea. Hosea, the legal man, as we see, again, the numbers Here's game the coming thing. into There's play. There's just so many of them. They're like a pack of wolves. They operate like a gang, like a group of thugs. Oh. Face one, face all. And it's hard to keep your focus, your eye on the prize, when you have enemies hovering like sharks on the outside of the ring. There goes Jay Bradley. King's Ransom is taking care of business. Oh, no! Leonis flies! Khan throws caution to the wind. Cash flow. Ripped in half! That's the way that Maximus got the victory last week at 4th Street Live. Into the cover, the leg is hooked, and this That's one is it. it. Well, look at Josh Ashcraft throwing a fit. Josh Ashcraft is throwing a fit, and you can hear what he's screaming. Josh screaming that he wasn't legal, he wasn't legal. What? Cash wasn't in this match. Remember, it was no! This is chaos! This is, what happened? Chaos, confusion, pandemonium. I believe what's happened here. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and still OVW Tag Team Champions, the Legacy of Brutality. Freebird rules, but remember, who starts the match are the people competing oh, in the match. Oh, you're right, Gilbert, you're right. Cash did not start, he wasn't I, legal. It was Isaiah and Zoe, therefore pinning Cash doesn't count. Wow. What a heartbreaking defeat, a heartbreaking defeat for King's Ransom. Controversial, to say the least. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is the official training and medical partner for Ohio Valley Wrestling. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is designed to help manage spine, hip, and knee pain both before and after surgery. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation will ensure that you reach and maintain your lifestyle and fitness goals. Get back in the game of life. Call 502-875-4737 for an appointment now or visit www.pfrhealth.com to learn more. Your life, your health, better. It doesn't matter if you go out a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. so beautiful. You guys must be so excited. I'm really excited. But talk about excited. Oh my gosh, you did so well at your match. You beat Madison Rain. How amazing and exciting is that? I mean, it feels appropriate. I've been training this long and I can't wait to see who's next. Oh, it is going to be marvelous. <laughs> but tell me, tell me about the venues you guys are thinking about. Uh, the planning is going to be exciting. You are back here at Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road, OVW Television live on the air. And we want this to be part of your new Wednesday night tradition as we air every week at 8 o'clock Wednesday night on WBNA. Well, well, at least temporarily. I mean, join us for Wednesday night this week and next week. And then after that, though, we're switching to Tuesdays. Indeed, that change comes October the 1st. More on that in the weeks to come. Right now, here comes, well, OVW's resident 
rich kids. And Chase and Nigel, they're the worst kind of rich kids. Straight out of the country club. With like a title. A, a entitled and twisted mean streak. Louisville, Kentucky. Man, am I feeling good tonight. How about all of you? I love to hear that. What about you, Nigel? I feel splendid. That's right. Splendid? You can't, you can't drink in the ring. That's not legal. Maybe that's why you feel splendid. We're feeling so good that we're, we're feeling a little bit Generous. We feel, we feel a little bit generous tonight, OVW, because as you might know, Chase and I just so happen to have boo koodles of money. Boo koodles? Quite right. Is that even a Quite word? right. I don't think so. If you simpletons don't know what that is, just look it up. How do you spell it? And in the spirit of our generosity, We've decided to give one lucky person here tonight the opportunity to earn their money, just like Chase and I have. Okay. Absolutely. In, in honor of Cabo Wabo Wednesday, we have a challenge. We have a challenge for one of you. Well, what's the challenge? Spit it out already. Who wants to play? Well, I'll do it. Does I'll anyone want to play somebody. tonight? Oh, I forgot to mention. It's for 500. Oh, oh yes, definitely pick me. 500 bucks. I'll take 500 bucks. I got interested even. No, no, don't point that way, point this way. Are you thinking what I'm it. thinking? I think she looks just desperate enough. What? To play this game. I think I think she should be the one to play. Hey, 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 merchandise lady. You you want to play? You bring in a lot of money, don't you? I mean, it doesn't quite look like it, but we're willing to give you a shot. She, Come on over and play. She has a name. Give it's, her a round of applause. That's Becky, our, our merchandise expert. And listen, give listen. Her a get some money. This challenge is quite simple. Quite simple. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. All merchandise lady has to do is, well, are you okay down there, Nigel? You okay? Merchandise lady, if you can just walk this glass of Cabo Waba juice from one post to the other, then you will go home with five hundred dollars! All right. I, I could have done this, so, Gilbert. That, well, it should be me in there. There's always a catch. I'm going to need you to start on this end. You know, safety first. There's stairs. You're going to have to do it with one hand. Well, that is a little more challenging. You're going to have to start past the post and then make your couple. way past that post. Well, seems like, simple oh. enough. Carry a couple one hand? you'll have to do it flat hand. Oh, okay, all right. Do you think we should help her out a bit, Nigel? No pressure. Maybe a finger to, to balance. Maybe on the outside? One finger. We'll give her one finger. Just to be, you know. Do you think you can do it? I can totally do it. Okay, let's get this thing started. Are you ready? All right, come on, Becky. You got this. $500 so. on the line. Yeah. I know what Becky makes. This would be a bonus. <laughs> to say the least. Don't. Don't, don't, ooh, slow it down. Cabo Wabo Watch juice. yourself. Watch yourself, Nigel. It's over halfway. You got to make it past the post. She's got to make it past the post. It's about one foot. Oh, oh. Now wait a Merchandise minute. Merchandise lady. You, that was Nigel's okay. fault. He knocked it out of her hand. Merchandise lady, that was pathetic. What? <laughs> oh, come on. You almost had it. I, Everybody. She doesn't deserve a round of applause. Some, you can go back to your They're not going to well, pay her? They're not going to give her the money now? That sucked. 
You've got to be kidding me. Until next time, OVW. I'm Chase. And I'm Nigel. And nobody likes spoiled rich kids. Uh. When people understand that estate planning is one of the nicest things you can do for your family, you're preventing confusion, disagreement, and you're preventing people who care about you from having to make important decisions during a time that's very upsetting. Take care of your financial affairs. If you've made your own funeral arrangements, everything that you do is something else that your children don't have to figure out how to do. OVW Wrestling Network.com. It's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too. OVW Wrestling Network.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVW Wrestling Network.com. It's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane. <laughs> Rewind brought to you by Lemmy Law. Need a lawyer? Get Lemmy at LemmyLaw.com. OVW and Lemmy Law, an unbeatable tag team. Join now in the ring. My Harper, her father John, the entire Johnson family, and here now to present the Capitelli Courage Award, please welcome Matt's wife, Lindsay Capitelli. So first, this is a plaque. This is an annual award. You can take a good look at it here. Matt's picture in the middle. John and Harper, you guys are the first names. And every year, we will add another name with another person who displays the same kind of courage that Matt inspired us all with. <laughs> Lindsay, if you want to read the inscription and make the presentation. John. Appreciate all you guys. Appreciate your support. Uh, and we couldn't do it without you all. So we appreciate you. Thank you again. Thank you guys so much. The following is a gauntlet contest for the OVW Television Championship. Introducing the first competitor. Lee Holiday. Main event time, ladies and gentlemen. Gauntlet title match for the TV championship. Six superstars, five challengers, and the champion all questing after that same prize. First into the ring for the man who says, well, Lee just simply doesn't care. Lee Holiday. We don't get a lot of opportunity to see this young man out of Nashville, Tennessee on OVW television That's very right. often. right, he made a long drive to be here tonight, and you know he wants to drive back home with that gold around his waist. And his opponent, Ashton Cove. Well, maybe Ashton Cove will have a little bit of better luck this week. I mean, uh, last week, Chavo Guerrero, uh, well, he gave him a little wrestling lesson, but perhaps this will be Action Ashton Cove's big week. And in the same gauntlet that we saw Chavo Guerrero, we also saw Rhino and Rhino, the war machine, the man beast walked away with the television championship. He is the champion coming into this gauntlet tonight, but we've said it once, we've said it a thousand times, Doc, there is no championship advantage in the gauntlet scenario. That's right, we don't know where Rhino is coming in. He could be next, he could be last, but we know at some point we are going to see the ECW original known as Rhino. And we oh. also know at some point we're gonna see a determined 18-year-old Corey Storm who has set his sights on the television title. That's right. Because, well, he was cheated out of the heavyweight title last week at Fight for Freedom. Well, I can't say I blame him. I mean, $1,000 a week is pretty nice for the TV champion that retains every week. So we see Lee Holiday throwing action at Ashton Cove back in the ring, trying to force the action. Hey, and I've seen this before. Could be setting up here perhaps for the Jack and Coke, as he calls it. Vertical suplex into the jackhammer. Oh, man. Holiday connects. 
and it's over for Action Ash. Ashton Cove has been eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. Oh, wow. Dapper Dan getting the jump on Lee Holiday. You know, smart, Dapper, smart. Dapper Dan's been a television champion before. That he has, and what a week it would be to win it back from Rhino and the other competitors. Oh. You know, the strategy in gauntlet match when you have so many superstars to face is win quick, fast, and in a hurry. Conserve energy. That's true. Uh, the quicker Dapper Dan can defeat Lee Holiday, the better advantage he'll have to go through their competitors, but Lee Holiday got out of the way. Yeah, Dan came in like a, a, a bowling ball, and he made a thud. What? Dapper Dan has been eliminated. Introducing that. the next competitor. You know, Holiday's not doing bad for himself. Not nah, say not. What a, what a great coming out party for this young man. He might walk away as champion. Just past the halfway mark in the gauntlet here, and here comes a former television champion. And one could argue that Drew Hernandez, the Mayan Mahler, has done the best ever Certainly since so. the television title has become defended each week in a gauntlet match. That's right, this last year has really been a great year for Drew Hernandez. He's been the quintessential TV champion for, for much of it, and he wants it back tonight. Won, won the title for the first time at OVW's big event, Run for the Ropes, part of the Kentucky Derby oh. Festival. Cross Maybe body not. block here from Holiday, and I thought he was going for the cover. Hernandez defeated Mr. Spectacular Jesse Garters to become television champion, but the reason that he's held it week after week is he's not afraid to break a few rules to, to maintain or retain the title. Certainly not. Oh, great bulldog from Lee Holiday. Hernandez is in trouble here. You know why? I mean, Rhino and Corey Storm better be watching the monitor because Lee Holiday's been showing shots of greatness here. He really might win it. Uh-oh. Holiday with the mauler up. Impressive. And that's what I'm talking about by going to the eyes. Not afraid to cut corners is Drew Hernandez. Oh my, oh. a variation on his power bomb. Into the cover, the leg is hooked, and it's good night to Lee Holiday. Lee Holiday has been eliminated. Introducing the next competitor. Here comes the war machine. Uh oh. Rhino. And look at Hernandez wasting Smart. no time. Smart. Yeah. Right. You have to get on this man. You know, Hernandez has a thing about showing out when he has a worldwide superstar staring across from him on the ring. That he is defeated true. Jesse Goddard to become the television champion. Hernandez defeated Chavo Guerrero last week That's in the gauntlet. True. You know he wants to add Rhino to that list of names, Gilbert. Right, exactly. Gore! 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 Leg is hooked and good night to Hernandez. Drew Hernandez has been eliminated. Introducing the final competitor. Well, we know who it's got to be. Process of oh, elimination. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes the 18-year-old sensation, Corey Storm. Can he rain down on Rhino? Oh, man, I mean, Sir Corey Storm did a great job against Smooth, almost defeating the Trinidad Titan, but, but this is Rhino. But Storm not to be intimidated. Storm has hit the ring with fury. Uh-oh. Oh, man! Storm connects! Beautiful! Storm standing tall, and we gotta take our last television timeout! Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you've loved a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld.
You're back here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. Television title on the line in your main event. This is a gauntlet match. Six superstars, five challengers in the champion, and we are now down to the final two. Rhino, the TV champion, defending now against the young and hungry Corey Storm. And Corey Storm started off high, and during the break, Rhino hit a vicious spine buster on this young man, which has oh. put the man beast back in control here. The storm ended yeah. <laughs> when Rhino connected with that spine buster. It had a whiplash-like effect, and it's taken, it's taken the speed and the get-up out of Corey Storm. Oh, and that is the asset that Storm uses to, to lead himself to victory. Oh. A clothesline oh, that just took here. off his head. Cover here! And what must go, be going through the head and the heart of the young 18-year-old sensation Storm in the ring with a former WWE superstar and ECW champion? This, without a doubt, the biggest match of his young life. What's going through the head and the heart of Corey Storm? It was, it was Rhino's arm almost a second ago. I gotta watch, you got to watch out for us man beats, Gilbert. Very hard to beat in the ring. <laughs> yeah, you, you and Rhino, right in the same, well, in the same well, class, back, right? Back in my day, back in my day. Okay. I'm retired. You you forget that I've been here for a while, right? I I've seen your day. Well, let's 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 let I digress. As we see Corey Storm trying to find the life, the strength, the will, the desire within him to come back and defeat Rhino here. I tell you what, Storm has the grit, the desire, and a heart the size of Texas. But he <laughs> he is in the ring with a war machine. Oh, oh no. Wow. I think Rhino might have accidentally hit his own head on that. That looked like a, a collision on I-65 head on. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching us live from Davis Arena in Louisville, Kentucky, the home of OVW. And you can join us each week now in our new television time slot on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. That is until October 1st when we move our weekly wrestling tr tradition to Tuesday nights. Just like the old Louisville Garden days. And if you're just clicking into OVW, you may be at home and this is your first time seeing it. This is the home and the house that built legends. Cena, Batista, CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, the list goes on and on. The biggest superstars in professional wrestling cut their teeth in a OVW ring. And the next big star might be Corey Storm if he can take down Category the War 5, Category 5 perched on top. Oh. Storm connects, cross body block. You gotta cover him now, kid. Cover him now. Has him squared away, squared up. Oh. Storm with a twister kick, and Rhino's down to his knees. A good night, Timber, like a tree falls in the woods. Tory Storm. Ah. No. Two and a half. Oh my God! I thought he had him. Oh, I couldn't believe my eyes, Gilbert. So did Storm. You know, Corey's been so close on so many occasions, including just last week when he nearly defeated the Trinidad Titan for the grandest prize in our company, the OVW Heavyweight Championship. But Storm told me before we came on the air tonight that almost doesn't count. He wants to be a champion. He yearns oh, to be no. a champion. But get the neck brace. He may be on the way to the hospital. Another valiant effort, but not enough. Oh my God! Storm's still alive! How did he do that? Storm is still alive! That's when it goes back to the heart, the will, the drive, the desire, the fortitude in this young man. It's like something I've never seen, Doc. But is, does he still have enough within him to somehow defeat Rhino? I don't, I don't think so. But look how much has been taken out of Storm. My point exactly, I mean, uh-oh. I might have spoken too soon. Roll up. Oh, Wait my a, God. Two and a half. Another near fall. How close is Storm? Y you got to be impressed with the fight that Corey Storm, just 18 years old, is taking to Rhino. A worldwide sensation, but Storm says, I don't just want to fight. I want to win. And this could be his moment. This could be his time. Both legs hook. Oh, two and nine tenths. It was half a second away, less than half a second away. Shock in Davis Arena, there was a gasp. The air came out of this place. These fans, I mean, they sure, they love Rhino, but they know Corey Storm. They are endeared with this young man. Storm's going up. They are We've living seen this through him. 
And it looked like Storm was trying to get in position for that Category 5, that double stomp to the back of the neck that drills an opponent's head right to the canvas. But he got caught in a bad way. That's a long way up and an even further oh. way down if you're on the receiving end. Did you see the ring shake on that, Gilbert? I felt it, Doc. I felt it. I hope they reinforce it before the match. Uh-oh. We know it's coming here. You, heard, He's you don't have up to guess. You, you don't have to guess. Rhino setting up for the gore. Storm with the speed, moves out of the way in the nick of time. Twister kick, misses, catches him in the back end. And Rhino stunned. Look how quickly the 18-year-old sensation ascends the top. Oh, ho, ho. Category five, both feet to the back of the head. Oh no my way. God. No Storm's way. Gonna do it. He did it. We've got a new television champion. And new OVW television champion, Corey Storm. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Without a doubt, the biggest win of this young man's life, Corey Storm just defeated Rhino. Corey Storm is a champion in OVW. He came, he saw, he defeated the war machine known as Rhino. What a night wow. for Corey Storm. Reality setting in. Joy, shock in his face right now. Trick? I don't know. Watch out, Corey. You know, never Enjoy trust, him. never trust Ryan. Uh, oh wow! And the ultimate sign of respect to be spoiled here by Justin Smooth. What is he doing out here right now? Why couldn't Smooth just let Storm have his moment? Maybe Smooth is congratulating this young man. Have I mean, you ever met Justin Smooth? I mean, I don't think he really is doing that, but. Oh my God! What the? What is? Oh! What is Spoon thinking? Exactly. He couldn't let Storm have his moment. That jerk, Justin Smooth. Wait. Wait! Oh, Gar! 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 We're out of time! We'll see you next week! Ah! Sin Bodhi. It's not over.